Action News reporter Annie Blanco with tonight's Action News Extra. Annie? Well, Tricia, when cops are on a standoff, they have a couple of options. One is to actually barge in by force, perhaps take the guy out by smoke to bring him out of the house. The other is to bring in some negotiators. Then a series of phone conversations will then happen. Tonight, a look at those conversation techniques and the negotiators behind them. He was going to kill himself and then a shot came out over the air. Michael Johnson is a negotiator for Henderson no, PD. Ultimately, I, t I talked to him for about 13 hours. He was the lead negotiator last year in a standoff that lasted over 24 hours. He had no intent whatsoever coming out uh, without either killing himself or taking one of us with him. The suspect held up with 13 pit bulls, and at one time his girlfriend did not want to give up without a fight. He lost his job, his truck, and was going to be evicted. Negotiations won't work unless the person actually trusts you. That's why Johnson's first question to Jeffrey Donnelly, like any other guy on the other end of the phone, is what's going on? The negotiator will introduce himself by first name, then ask the suspect his name. From there on out, the key is asking open-ended questions. Negotiators spend most of their time trying to figure out what happened. That's really what negotiation is all about. These people are in a crisis. And whatever crisis kicked it off, uh, whatever set that person into this uh, chain of events, uh, they really just want somebody to hear their side of the story. We can sit out there, I mean, conceivably, forever talking to somebody when the person inside has to go to sleep, has to eat, has to use a restroom at some point in time. And that's what happened in Henderson last year. Cops waited and waited, and they finally had to bust in and take the guy by force. All right, you take care. If you can get into their frame of mind, then you can help them back, back out. To negotiate is really more of an art than science. By the way, here in Henderson, 12 members make up the negotiation team. Reporting live in Henderson, I'm Annie Blanco, Channel 13, Action News.